This is the fourth lecture of the series of lectures entitled Solid Angle. Lecture 3 was on problem solving in which we solved some problems involving solid angle and we continue to do so in this lecture too. First question. Show that solid angle subtended by a sphere element ds at center is sin theta d theta d phi. Hence show that solid angle at center of sphere by whole sphere is 4 pi star radian. The answer. Consider a sphere of radius r. Let us draw a sphere. This is the center. Call it O. This is the sphere surface upon which we focus our attention now. Let us build a coordinate system with O as origin. This is the x-axis, this is y-axis and this is the z-axis. This is the equatorial plane, the xy plane, the xy equatorial plane. This is a plane parallel to the equatorial plane. And this is another such plane that is parallel to the equatorial plane. In fact, these are small circles parallel to xy plane. Let us draw upon the sphere this great circle and this is another such great circle. The four circles, I mean the two small circles parallel to xy plane and the two great circles intersect and hence produce a small element. Let us show it. Call it ds and label it as a, b, c, d. Now join the origin O to the point D. Length OD is R, the radius of sphere. The angle that OD makes with the Z axis is theta. Drop a perpendicular from D on the Z axis. The foot of perpendicular is O prime. Obviously, this angle O O prime D is the right angle. Let us write these facts. OD is R, the radius, angle O prime OD is theta, the polar angle, O prime D is R sin theta. Let us show it by redrawing the concerned triangle O O prime D. And this is it. This angle is theta, the polar angle, and this is the right angle. Now sin theta equal to O prime D which is the perpendicular divided by OD which is the hypotenuse. So this is equal to O prime D by R. Let us show the x axis at the point O prime. This is it. This angle x O prime D is phi the azimuthal angle. We write it and also ds is the surface portion ABCD. Join O to A. This angle DOA is D theta. Join O prime C. This angle C O prime D is D phi. We are now in a position to write down the expression of the surface element DS. But the figure seems a bit clumsy. Let us redraw it to create a simpler figure. This is the sphere, O is the center, this is the x axis, this is y axis and this is z axis. Let this point be D point, a corner of the surface element DS. Join OD, length of which is R. This is the polar angle theta. This elemental arc is DA, A being another corner point of DS join OA and the angle is d theta representing infinitesimal change in theta. What is the length of the arc dA? It is r d theta. Drop perpendicular from point d to z axis. It is O prime d. This is the right angle and O prime d is r sin theta. This is the x direction at O prime. This is the azimuthal angle phi. Let us next draw this arc from D, call it DC, lying in a plane parallel to XY plane. 
and this elementary angle created by the elemental arc DC is D5. The length of arc DC is O prime D D5. This is equal to R sin theta D5. Let us draw the arcs AB and then CB. This generates the surface element DS which is ABCD. So what is the area element DS? It is arc DA into arc DC. Let us put their values to get R D theta into R sin theta D phi. So it is R square sin theta D theta D phi. Having got DS, let us find the solid angle created by DS at center. This is how the solid angle is created. This is the sphere. This is center. The axis are here. This is the surface element ABCD that is DS. Join the contour points of the elemental surface DS to get the elemental solid angle. Call it D omega subtended by DS at center O. The expression of which is DS by R square. Where R is this distance OD, the radius, the distance of point O to DS. Someone might ask why not d omega equal to ds cos theta prime by r square where theta prime is the angle between n hat and r hat. n hat is the normal unit vector to ds and r hat is the radial unit vector. Let us show it. This is the sphere. O is the center of sphere. This is ds. This is n hat. This is also the radial unit direction. So n hat equal to r hat. The included angle, call it theta prime, is thus 0. So d omega, whose general expression is ds cos theta prime by r square, for theta prime equal to 0, reduces to ds by r square. Replace ds by r square sin theta d theta d phi and we have r square in the denominator. r square cancels out so we get the answer to be sin theta d theta d phi. Obviously d omega is a function of theta and phi. Clearly two angular coordinates theta and phi are needed to describe solid angle. Let us make a gist d omega equal to ds by r square equal to sin theta d theta d phi. We can write it as ds equal to r square d omega which is equal to r square sin theta d theta d phi. Solid angle at center O due to entire sphere is omega equal to closed integration d omega over sphere. This is equal to closed integration over sphere sin theta d theta d phi. This is integration over theta 0 to pi sin theta d theta into integration over phi equal to 0 to 2 pi d phi. This phi integration gives 2 pi and this theta integration gives 2. So omega is 2 into 2 pi equal to 4 pi stay radian. Next question. Find the solid angle subtended by a disc at a point on its axis. This is the first question. The second one is, hence show that solid angle at center of sphere is 4 pi. And the third question is, at center of hemisphere it is 2 pi. The answer. This is a circular disc. This is its axis. Let us call this point O. Let us join the points of the contour to O and we generate the solid angle omega. Let us name the disc. Say this point is A and the diametrically opposite point is B. Another such pair of points is C and D. Consider diametrically opposite points a, B and C, D situated on the edge or rim of the disc. Construct a sphere of radius O, A equal to O, B, call it R, with center at O. 
This means the sphere will pass through the rim or edge of the disc expressed differently. If we cut this sphere, the area of cross section will represent the disc. Let us draw the sphere. Here it is. This is the disc. The sphere kisses past the edge of the disc. And this is the axis of the disc, which is obviously a radial direction. Let us label the point situated on the edge of the disc AB and CD. Join the contour points of the disc to get the solid angle omega. This is R. This is also R that is OA equal to OB equal to R, the radius of sphere. Let this point, the point of intersection of sphere with Z axis be P. Clearly, disc ABCD and the spherical portion PACBD subtend the same solid angle omega. Let us show it separately. Disc ACBD subtends solid angle omega at O, point on axis. This is the spherical portion we talked about PACBD and it too makes the same solid angle omega at the center O. Let us write it mathematically. Hence omega is integration over disc ACBD. D omega equal to integration over spherical portion PACBD D omega. This is integration sine theta D theta D phi. Integration being over theta and phi. Putting Two integrations separately we have integration over theta equal to 0 to theta sin theta d theta into integration over phi equal to 0 to 2 pi d phi. Here the upper limit of the theta integration is theta which let us show in the diagram. This is theta. On z axis theta is 0 and we integrate up to theta. We show it once again and this theta is called the semi-vertical angle. This phi integration gives 2 pi and this theta integration gives 1 minus cos theta. So omega is 2 pi into 1 minus cos theta. Let us underscore the important features. The disk subtends solid angle 2 pi into 1 minus cos theta at a point on its axis where theta is the semi-vertical angle and a spherical portion subtends solid angle 2 pi into 1 minus cos theta at center where theta is the polar angle. Let us now answer the other parts of the question. For the disk the limits of theta were 0 to theta the semi-vertical angle for sphere, the limits of theta will be from 0 to pi, that of phi would be same as before, that is 0 to 2 pi. So omega is integration over theta phi, sin theta d theta d phi. This is equal to integration over theta from 0 to pi, sin theta d theta, integration over phi equal to 0 to 2 pi, d phi. The value of phi integration is 2 pi. And the value of theta integration is 2. So omega is 4 pi stay radian. For hemisphere, the limits of theta will be 0 to pi by 2. Why? This is the hemisphere. This is the z axis defined by theta equal to 0. This angle is theta. And this is the limit of hemisphere defined by theta equal to pi by 2 and all phi direction are to be integrated over in the xy plane. So phi equal to 0 to 2 pi. Omega equal to, to integration over theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin theta d theta integration over phi equal to 0 to 2 pi d phi. The phi integration gives 2 pi and the theta integration gives 1. So omega is 2 pi stay radian. Next question. Find expression of elemental solid angle subtended by annular strip on a sphere. The answer. Consider a sphere. 
this point is the center call it O this is a circle parallel to XY plane this is another circle also parallel to XY plane and is situated close to the circle drawn earlier the two circles define annular strip on the sphere surface this is Z axis this is R this is theta this is D theta that represents the angular width of the annular strip so the width of the annular strip is R D theta this distance is R sine theta the radius of this circle we now will write down the length of this circle that is the circumference of this circle which is the length of the annulus or annular strip it is 2 pi into the radius r sin theta clearly the surface area of the annulus is ds equal to 2 pi into r sin theta multiplied by r d theta which is 2 pi r square sin theta d theta let us now show the formation of solid angle this is the annular strip join the points on the strip to the center o and the solid angle subtended by this elementary annular strip is d omega equal to ds by r square where r is this distance the radius of the sphere we once again emphasize that ds is surface element of sphere annular in shape in this problem so normal to ds is along radial direction that is n hat equal to r hat if theta prime is the angle between n cap and r cap then obviously theta prime equal to 0 and so cos theta prime equal to 1 let us show r cap and this is ds hence d omega equal to ds cos theta prime by r square with theta prime equal to 0 cos theta prime equal to 1 we have ds by r square put the value of ds to get 2 pi r square sin theta d theta divided by r square this gives 2 pi sin theta d theta we can also write it as 4 pi sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 d theta this theta is the polar angle let us make a gist that is write the two important expressions next question find solid angle around theta equal to 5 degree over annular range 1 degree answer consider a sphere and this is the annular region referred to in the question this is z axis this is the polar angle theta 5 degree and the annular range is 1 degree now d omega equal to 2 pi sin theta d theta with theta equal to 5 degree d theta equal to 1 degree convert to radians we have d omega to be 0 0.009 stair radian check the calculation next question consider a disc having a hole of radius small r it is placed in front of an isotropic source of light at a distance capital R. Find the solid angle subtended by the hole at source. Also find the amount of power that the hole transmits if source power is P. We come to the answer now. This is the disc and let us move a distance up to point O this is the hole the disc has O is the source of light P is its power the source emits or transmits light in all possible directions that is over a solid angle 4 pi stair radian hole radius is small r and let us note that the hole subtends a solid angle omega at point O the cone created by the hole at O has a semi-vertical angle theta. Let us denote the center as point C and this point on the edge of the hole is L. Now we derived the expression of omega subtended by a disc at a point on the axis 
in this problem we have a whole instead and hence the same expression holds which is 2 pi into 1 minus cos theta. To be more explicit let us write the expression of cos theta in terms of the dimensions or parameters of this problem. Cos theta is base by hypotenuse. Now base is the length OC which is the distance capital R from hole to the light source and hypotenuse is the length OL. So cos theta is capital R by OL. It follows from the right angle triangle OLC. OL is under root LC square plus OC square that is under root small r square plus capital R square. This leads to omega equal to as mentioned just now over the entire solid angle 4 pi light power is P. So over unit solid angle it is P by 4 pi and hence over the solid angle omega the power emitted through the hole will be let us wind up with a master question the answers of which will involve the answers to the problems we discussed what is the solid angle subtended by the following surface at the given point the first one solid angle due to spherical surface element at center options are 4 pi 2 pi sin theta d theta d phi sin theta d theta the answer is sin theta d theta d phi theta and phi are the spherical polar coordinates of the location of the surface element next problem is the solid angle due to disc at an axial point with semi vertical angle theta the options are 4 pi 2 pi 2 pi into 1 minus sin theta 2 pi into 1 minus cos theta and this is the correct option. Next problem is solid angle due to sphere at center. The options are 2 pi 4 pi pi by 2 sin theta d theta d phi. The answer is 4 pi. Next problem is solid angle due to hemisphere at center. Options are 2 pi, 4 pi, pi by 2, sin theta d theta d phi. The option which is correct is this one. Next problem is solid angle due to a spherical surface at center having semi vertical angle theta. Options are 2 and the answer is this one. Next problem is solid angle due to annular spherical element at center. The options are these two are the correct options. Solid angle due to spherical surface element at r theta phi can be expressed as the options are this is the answer we shall in future lectures address the questions how the solid angle concept is used to derive the laws Gauss law of gravitation Gauss law of electrostatics